Jessica Wada, the starting shortstop for Hawaii. They're trying to work out the leg injury that crapped up on her throw over to first base to record the third out of the uh, bottom half of the inning. And Iwata just coming over, and it's more in the follow-through that you see her leg kind of tuck back behind her. And the good news about this is I think it's more of a muscular injury or irritant than it is the knee. Because she tucks that back foot back behind her, I think it just pulled on the quad muscle. They did some stretches earlier in the dugout. It's probably a little sore, but... Good thing is she can she can run. Trying to work it out. She is due up fourth. Eight, nine, and one for Hawaii in the top of the third against the freshman Kenzie Fowler. And Katie Grimes, the catcher, the senior from Tampa, Florida, has seen her batting average go up 100 points this year. One for six so far at the World Series. She has been the starter behind the plate for every game. Arredondo back onto the grass, one away. It has just been crazy in the tournament. The top four seeds have all been eliminated. The top two didn't even get here. The other big stories, all the home runs were on pace to set a new World Series home run record. 19 of them so far. The record set last year was 24. That is deep, and that one will not be playable. Tracy Yoshikawa, her second home run of the World Series, has tied it up for Hawaii. The NCAA single season home run record is now 158. And every run scored here at the World Series has been over the fence. Yoshikawa taking this screwball inside and just a, a beautiful piece of hitting. She stays so short, but then being able to get her hands so quick on a pitch that inside. When a pitch is up in the zone and in, pretty much only one place for it to go once you get connected. High into the bleachers off the screwball from Fowler. And we're even at one apiece. That was the number nine hitter. And now to the top of the order in Kelly Majum. Yoshikawa, the senior from Honolulu. Hi, I'm Tracy Yoshikawa. I'm a senior and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. Majum, the second team All-American. Not only has it been a long journey for Hawaii as a team, but a long journey for the Majum family from California. Her dad and sister drove from California to Tuscaloosa, Alabama to watch her in the Super Regionals. Then they drove all the way back to California to pick up her mom and turned around and drove here to Oklahoma City to watch Kelly play in the World Series and another illegal pitch has just been called on Kenzie Fowler. Second one of the game. A ball awarded to the batter, so it's a 3-1 count. And it's now full on the 50 mile an hour off speed pitch. And Kenzie Fowler almost unfazed at this point. She looks over, illegal pitch comes back, throws a change up for a strike to bring the count full. Majum draws the walk. Pinch runner coming out, or a pinch hitter here for Iwata. And uh, let's uh, check in with Holly Rowe. Well, Jessica Iwata appears to be fine in the dugout here. They've heavily wrapped that right leg. She was complaining of injury to her quad about five inches above her right knee. They've given her an oral medication, and it looks like they've wrapped her heavily. She was almost ready to go up into the on-deck circle, but I think they put the pinch hitter in before they realized she would be ready in time to hit.
0 for 4 this year as a pinch hitter is Dara. Fowler away, 3 and 1. And now Teresa Wilson will come out to chat with the freshman. Certainly uh, could not falter for having these illegal pitches uh, taking their toll on her as well as pitching her second game of the day in a 100 degree heat. And I think part of it too is giving up a home run to Tracy Yoshikawa. And I think it's a combination of a lot of things. I, I think, you know, knowing the illegal pitch, pitch is always going to be there. Kenzie Fowler, it's pretty much known now that she's unable to make that adjustment. She's not going to stop illegal pitching. So knowing that that could be called at any moment, but that also Hawaii with their big swings are going to take advantage of anything that she brings over the plate. 10 today, 18 illegal pitches in the World Series. Three one pitch, held off. Struck her out. The response from Fowler, two down. This curveball just paints the black of the plate. Such a beautiful pitch. And Dara, who had been fin pitched inside, definitely caught off guard looking for that inner part of the plate. Very hard to adjust to. And another illegal pitch. going to move Kelly Majum over to second. The illegal pitch gives a ball to the hitter and the base to the runner. Kenzie Fowler unable to make that adjustment. Melissa Gonzalez who walked in the first and uh, there was an illegal pitch in that at bat as well Jessica. Well, and really as a hitter, I mean, I can, I can feel for Kenzie because in a game situation, you're only thinking about what you're trying to do. You cannot think about body parts. You can't think about your feet. I mean, you're in the moment. You're in the zone. I mean, you do. You play your game. And Kenzie Fowler is trying to continue to pitch her game. But as mentally tough as she is, you know it has to be a distraction when runners are moving and balls are being called. 3-0 to Gonzalez. Kenzie, Kenzie has pitched in uh, multiple games on the same day before this season, but this just the second time this year that she has started two in one day. You'd have to go back to February for the first time she did it against BYU. Comes back with another strike. Full count to Gonzalez with two down. Majum at second. The go ahead run. And she gets Gonzalez to chase it out of the zone. A runner left in scoring position. But for the second time at this World Series, the number nine hitter, Tracy Yoshikawa, sends one out of the park and into the bleachers. We're even at one apiece.